you're still uh, kind of a kid. Yeah. Uh, one, well, was, one was 102, the other was uh, 99. Well, I'm 94. Oh, my goodness. You don't look 94. Well, sometimes sometime I do feel it. But well, I can imagine that. Yeah. Well, I'm in pretty good shape. My body's in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're uh, interviewing Mr. John S. Montague in his home in Buffalo, New York. Uh, it is uh, August 31st, 2001. Michael Lakey, interviewer, Wayne Clark, videographer. Mr. Montague, where were you born, sir? Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Did you grow up there? Partially. Okay. How long were you in North Carolina? Oh, for about, I see, like, you know, until I was, uh, nine, yeah, I left home and I was. And then where'd you go? Buffalo. Buffalo, New York. Um, so you, you were in Buffalo, f You've been in Buffalo ever since? Lackawanna and Buffalo. Lackawanna and Buffalo. Yeah, my, my brother died out in Buffalo. Okay. And his father. Uh, wh what were you doing in Buffalo? I was working as a train operator at Nelson and Steel Company. Mm hmm. And uh, when. Uh, do you remember where you were when Pearl Harbor broke out? Do you remember? Buffalo. You were in Buffalo? Can you recall uh, hearing about Pearl Harbor? Oh, yes. Yeah. What would you, you know what you were doing that day? No, couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Okay. Unless I was, maybe I was working on mm -hmm. a dress, that's all I say. When did uh, you decide to join the Army? They drafted me. They drafted you? Yeah. So, uh, do you remember when that was? No, you really, I should remember, but i tell you the truth, I really don't know. Okay. Because I was drafted from Niagara Falls, New York. Okay, and uh, where did they send you for uh, basic training? Niagara Falls, New York. Okay, you took basic in Niagara Falls? At, that's why I was interviewed, and uh, we got ready for, go, go for, uh, take the basic training. Okay, and where left, the, excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, we left Buffalo and went to Baltimore, the for George Meade Merlin. Okay. It. From that's where I take my basic training, one part of it. Mm-hmm. And the other part was taking it at the uh, Virginia. Yeah. Pickett? <laughs> no, no, Camp Pickett, Virginia. How? Camp Pickett, Virginia. Camp Pickett, okay. Uh, what did you think of basic training? Well, it was okay with me. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, <laughs> and after basic training, uh, what unit were you assigned to? 3903rd Quartermaster. Uh-huh. Oh, George B. Murphy. And what was your job uh, in the quartermaster? Come. Cook. Cook. Ah, they, so they taught you how to cook? Nope. <laughs> I was <laughs> cooking before I went down. Okay. How'd you like being a cook? Oh, all right, I was a good, pretty good cook. Mm -hmm. Cooked for 100 people. Okay. And, and my unit had 100, 100. But they had two cooks. Mm -hmm. Myself and my other cook, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and in our outfit we had uh, four cooks, hmm. two each day. We trade, we changed off for mm -hmm. one day off, one day off. Okay, that that's the way we worked it. Mm -hmm. Were you a pretty good cook? I think I was. 
And uh, all the soldiers still have uh, was my, my helper. Was the uh, the three thirty nine oh three was that a uh, was that a colored unit? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, how were you treated? Good. Good. Um, you uh, did you when did you go overseas? No, the exact date. Oh, no, we don't need exact dates. Oh, that's right. Oh, what was In 44? Oh, boy. Yes. Okay. And uh, how did you go overseas? You were yes, I, we uh, we went over on a ship. Mm -hmm. What was the name? Uh, Pond. That's what I'm trying to think of the name. It's an English troop ship. Okay. That's what it was. How was the trip over? Good. You get sick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get too sick though because I I had uh, cooked on the water before. And okay. And that didn't make me quite as sick as it did some of them. So uh, it was an English ship? Yes. Okay. And where did you land when you got to England? Do you remember? Yo. <laughs> Kind of get for right now. That's okay. I have to think. That's it all up. right. So uh, yeah. you got to England, and uh, you went into training in England. Yes. Well, what we did, we landed in a, then we had to travel to our camp space, mm -hmm. which was uh, overnight. Mm -hmm. Then we went to uh, camp the. And it was in the uh, Carlos's hut, you know, those tin huts. Yes. That, that's what we were, was our house. Okay. What did you think of England? Nice. Nice. Uh, what did you think of the English? Uh, the English uh, treat you well? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I've never had any trouble. I, I don't think any of the rest of them did either. Okay. So you were basically a transportation unit. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you uh, you were training uh, for the landing at D-Day? Right. Okay. Uh, do you remember uh, landing in France? Oh, yes. Where, uh, what, do you remember what day you landed? I, you know, I wasn't uh, interested in keeping dates, you know. Right. It wasn't, you, you weren't in the first, you weren't, did you land on D-Day or a little bit after? What is it, uh? In England, I in, mean, uh, in France. Oh, I landed before that. Oh, wait, wait. It was uh, quite a while before we was uh, in uh, service. I mean, for right for the landing. Okay. Well, well I, I I go back just a few minutes. Sure. We moved from one part of England. Mm -hmm. To another part for taking basic training. Okay. Because we was going farther to the uh, landing spot. But mm -hmm. well, we stayed in a big, uh, I can't say what the name of the, just a bit, maybe get my embarrassed again. That's okay. I am, I am black right now. That's all right. Now you were a, you were an older GI, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. So the rest of them were pretty much kids. Well, I was, I was, I was the oldest. I don't think at that time. Mm-hmm. So we moved from Northampton mm -hmm. up the other uh, part of England. Okay. Getting closer to. When the landing come, we wouldn't have so far to go. Right. I left, uh, we left, my troop left uh, Northampton, England. That was the closest. Okay. As we got out on the water, and we couldn't go in. It started raining in the fall. As we couldn't uh, 
go on land. Because the water would be too high. Okay. So we had to sit out in the ocean until it stopped raining, and uh, so we could land. So we had to land in boats, mm -hmm. and we had to have it so we could uh, walk out to the shore. Okay. And what was it like to land? Oh, well. You, I bet you're happy to get off the boats. Yeah, but uh, going into the uh, fighting zone, uh -huh. but we wasn't quite that far up. Okay. So we would be right in it because they had uh, the other troops had run the other unit back, mm -hmm. German, whatever they were, the Thai. Okay. They had run ran them back, and so we had a chance to land safely. Okay. And so we didn't lose we didn't lose any cash at all. At that time, I'm a lander. Mm -hmm. We landed on Omaha Beach. Omaha? Omaha, not, not. Okay. See, it's, it's, it's been nominated. That's why the uh, 33rd, I think it was 33rd uh, outfit, that was the, that was the white unit. Mm -hmm. That was what they, if you can reveal what it, when they got up there, the Germans was up on the hill trying right. to... Uh, right, right. They, they just, they just loaded us a lot of them before they could uh, get the straightened out. <coughs> what was the beach like when you got there? Well, I, I, it, it wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. Because the, the uh, engineers, they had ran the Germans back down. Okay. Know. Now, you, your outfit was uh, moving supplies? Well, carrying supplies up to the front, the padded. Okay. It had one way, one way up, one way back. Oh. And so, and that way, it was, uh, wasn't too bad uh, mm -hmm. for, the, for the troops. So they always tried to break out, break up those, uh, supply lines. Right. And so at the as the beach heads but it was so unloading. They had to have a bulldozer to pull the trucks out of the mud hmm. because it was so bad down there at the time. <coughs> now were you living in tents at the time? Yes. How was that? Uh, well that's about as well as you could expect in a tent. <laughs> sleep below, sleep below the ground. Uh huh. So were you getting enough supplies oh, to, as oh a cook? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They, we were, we were in good, good shape for cooking mm -hmm. food. Oh, we just had to get them up, up to the front. Right. A lot of time we had. Uh, see, when they go to carry the supplies. They were C ration, K ration, they call it, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that way, well, that was, we, didn't, we didn't lose any of our men. And one guy just got killed. Oh, really? Yeah, only one of our guys got killed up there. Were mines a problem for you? Not, not our lives. Okay. But they were handled. Mm -hmm. But the thing of it is, they had the. the they tried to break out these lies with the airplanes, you know, mm -hmm. they call them scraping, they call it. You know? Right. And so, we didn't lose any men that time. All the thing we lost was the ones got drunk. <laughs> All through that, no, no casualty but him. And he was drunk. He got drunk. Remember any stories? Uh you like to tell while you're in France? Yes. <laughs> you know, the, we were, we were out at night. Mm -hmm. And we was myself and one of the other cooks. Mm -hmm. We was in the tent. And I had, uh, I had got out of the little pup tent to go, go some place. 
and bring in aircraft from over the corner, scraping. Right. And what they do, what they do, they would drop red flares to see what they can see, mm-hmm. so they could uh, shoot the target. Mm-hmm. And what? Well, I had uh, left. My buddy was laying in there, and uh, one of the pieces of uh, piece of the uh, striper, they call it striper, mm-hmm. come right through the tent where I was laying. Oh dear! And good, I was there. So, <laughs> so they said, so that's when that was when we was uh, they was trying to find the targets. Right. Was that the closest call you had? Yeah, that's about the oldest, closest call. Yeah, what well, I was had anyway. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we didn't lose any. Mm-hmm. Um, now, your officers, were, were they were uh, they black or white? White. White officers? I had a commanding officer, but I was last. I was a drill sergeant, or what you call a regular sergeant. Mm-hmm. He was a black sergeant, a white sergeant, they called it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was all nice. The officer's pretty good to you? Oh, yeah. They, good officer. Good. One of us, I can't remember. One of us from Chicago, oh. Lieutenant Trench, he was. Uh, yeah, they, we, we were treated nice. I'm off with us. Good. Well, you had the food and had the supply. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when, when we sent. When the troops would leave, they would have a sea ration, they call it. Right. A little box of off the right there. Mm-hmm. And that's what they had on the trip up to the front. Mm-hmm. So did you move often? Did no. When we, first, when we first got away, we would move about every year or something like that. Uh-huh. So you were able to um, have pretty good quarters in that you didn't move a lot? Oh, yes. We stayed in uh, Southampton. Oh. We had a, we had a camp there for a while. We had, as I said, we was moving up toward the invasion day. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. But, uh, now, when you were in uh, France, did you ever get any leave? Oh, uh, I, 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 I have. A, I worked one day myself and my buddy. Mm-hmm. We worked one day, and the other two cooks. They worked another shift. Okay. Well, we had a, we had a day off. Mm-hmm. Day off. What and did you do on your days off? Go somewhere if we could, uh-huh. if, it, if it was possible. Okay. We had we had a permanent leave, but we, we couldn't go too far. Okay. Some of the cities, you know, you wouldn't be allowed to hang around those cities like that. So like that. Okay. What'd you think of the French people? Oh, they were, they were nice. Mm-hmm. They were, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you now you were supplying Patton's army. Yes. Yeah. What'd you think of Patton? Oh, he was, a, he, was a, he was a bad guy. Guts. <laughs> guts and bucket, they call it. Blood and guts? Blood and guts. Right. His guts and your blood? <laughs> he was a... Um, what, what you say, like? Now, uh, you moved into the Belgium? Yeah. What was Belgium like? That was nice. Mm-hmm. It was real nice. I made a lot of friends. Oh, good. Because when, uh, like, when, uh, like we had camps here. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Sometimes we would carry that dry food, box stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It was worse sometimes, you know. We, we couldn't carry it any farther. Right. So what I would do, I would give it to the people so you know, just like that. Oh. And so 
people who throw it away. Right. So you give it to civilians? Give it to the civilians. And then again, we was close to, uh, I call it, Missouri, Belgium. Mm -hmm. And that was the mining town. And so when, when they had the, we call it child time, uh, we feed the troop. Mm -hmm. What was left, I would put to these big cans. Mm -hmm. So the people used to come close to the shower line, they call it. Right. And, you know, I would give it to them. So. Oh, that was very nice. Instead of throwing it away, I would put it in a can and save it to them. So the officers didn't want the uh, civilians hanging around the camp. Mm -hmm. And so that way I just save it and give it to them. Well, I'm sure they were appreciative of oh, that. Oh, they better believe it. Yeah, they got pretty hungry. Oh, oh yeah. That I do. Now, uh, your unit was part of the, uh, the Red Ball Express? Yes. What was that like? Oh, that was, as I said, you leave, leave in the morning or either at night, whatever you was, and you go until you deliver your load. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back, you come back another way. Okay. On another route. As you can see that, uh, the picture, uh, you can see that. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's the way that was. Hmm. And so we never did have a casualty. The, um, now, did you get into Germany at all? Just, just a little bit. Okay. We didn't get up that far. Mm -hmm. Do you remember uh, when the, the, the Battle of the Bulge took place? Yes, I was in Leeds, Belgium. That's what it, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Now, uh, do you remember what happened when uh, you heard about that the Germans had broken through? Oh, yeah. How did people feel? Oh, they was, they was running for shelter. Uh-huh. Were you concerned that they would get to Belgium or Leeds? Oh, yeah. No, I wasn't because the, the United States had us locked off. <laughs> <laughs> they had George Patton there, right? Yeah. Um, can you think of any other stories you had uh, when you were over there with you, your friends? Oh, oh yes, I, you know, when the, when the siren come, you know, we was out in the open field, mm -hmm. out from a little town, this incident, out from a little town called, uh, it's in England, mm -hmm. and we was, we was broke through, well, it was in the air, mm -hmm. not on the land, but on the air, because they had an air raid, they call it. Okay. And, uh, and everybody was running for the shelter. And we was uh, in the pasture, like, you know, right. a field. And so the farmers had some, uh, you know, like you stack your corn and feed them mm -hmm. up on the stack. Well, you run under that, hide mm -hmm. under that. And sometimes we was people, civilians would sleep in this haystack. <laughs> and so that, that, that was the way that was. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see any uh, U.S. shows or anything like that? Oh, yes. In mm -hmm. Belgium. Who did you get to see? Well, I couldn't, t I couldn't tell you. You don't remember? Day. I couldn't tell you the day but the show that I saw. Do you remember any of the celebrities? Any of the stars? Not, not over that bit, not okay. bit, yeah. So, you see, they, they have, like, we go here, we have a continuous show. show mm -hmm. but, but over there, some places, you see, first half, then you have a reset. Mm -hmm. And then you go back and see the other half of the show. Okay. So that's, that's the way it is. Over there. What did you do for recreation uh, when you were in uh, France and Belgium? 
go to go dancing. Go dancing. Go dancing, drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't drink much beer. So we weren't allowed to much at all. Yeah, we, the ladies over there love to dance. I bet you like to dance too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you're a pretty good dancer. I was. Yeah? Was. Oh, I can dance there. Uh, oh, you have to have me get up here. <laughs> Give me some music, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm not going to get up and argue with God. I'm not dancing. Great question. So, what did you think of your experience in the Army? I've read this drastically. Mm -hmm. I've seen so much more than I would see if I, you know, if I had to look at the Army. Right. Different places in England, mm -hmm. Belgium. Did you ever get back to any of those places? No. After D Day. Do you remember, uh, let's see, where, when the war was over, when Germany surrendered? Yes, we were in Belgium. You were in Belgium. At least Belgium. Well, what, uh, how did you feel when you heard, hear, heard that? Oh, good. Yeah? That was, that was a good, good sound. Were you ready to go home? Ready to come home. Did you have ready. enough points? I'm just going to tell you, see, uh, I had enough points to get out, mm -hmm. and uh, I was uh, in, uh, I was in Leeds, Belgium at mm -hmm. the time, a little mining town mm -hmm. up above Leeds, they call it, Mishiro, that's the name of the mining town, mm -hmm. so I, I, I had enough points for my other little guy, the cook, they sent him over to China over there somewhere, or one of those places, hmm. old Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where that was. So uh, did you came home on a ship? Yes, I pun. I was trying to think of the, I came home, no, I went over on the pond, the corner, uh, what the, something like a pond, it's not part of the road, it's pond, uh, Anyway, it was an English troop ship that right. we went over on, and it came back on the, uh, one of the, uh, uh, what you call them, ships in the big one. It was our, uh, uh, Liberty, Liberty ship? ship? I, I, that's what I was talking about, yeah. What was that trip like? Oh, it was three or four days of, and, it was full of people, full of, full of, full of soldiers. Full of soldiers. Clapping, patting, and clipping, and clapping. <laughs> Glad to get home. Any card games? Uh, no, some of them had card games. Uh-huh. Now, do you remember, uh, land, did, you, what, did you land in New York? I landed in Boston. Landing in Boston. Yeah. Uh, what was the reception like when you got back? Oh, a lot of soldiers bad to get home. Right. We left Boston. Okay. Did you uh, Did you have a parade when you get got back? No, no, no. Not, not in Boston. You just landed in Boston. We landed in Boston. They went to to the what you call it? Okay, they were. What is, what is, I'm going nuts now. Yeah. No, I'm not going nuts, but I'm desperate, desperate. They, they, they put you in the building and they uh, discharge you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you were discharged in Boston? Yes. And what did you do? Did you take a train home? Yeah, no. I, I, you know what they, I should think about it, I don't remember the day that I come home. Hmm. It was in November. It was a little cool in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. and I brought a little dog with me. I wasn't supposed to bring a dog with me. Where'd you get the dog? In Belgium. 
<laughs> you know, the people that the people that I give a scrap to, you know, and stuff like that. Uh huh. And uh, some of the neighbors dog was gonna have pups. Mm hmm But I had a little dog before. Well, I'm guessing was what before I came home. Mm hmm And we had prisoners of war that made a crate for the uh, a little crate for the dog out of sea ration boxes. Mm hmm And uh, I kept them in there for about a two weeks but hide the dogs <laughs> the, the, so, the sort that the, 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 the uh, prisoners of war made a crate mm -hmm. for him a box for him now did the, did you have prisoners of war working for you yeah, that's right oh uh, they were they, glad to get it well were they germans or germans German prisoners of war, what were they like? Yeah. <laughs> the prisoners? Yes. Oh, they were, they were glad to get a place to stay and food. Uh huh. Interesting. They never had any trouble with them. Mm hmm. So they made a, a, a little carton for your dog. A little box. A little box, and you got the dog to Boston. Yeah, but uh, you know, what happened with that? We, we, I, we, our troops have left our. Uh, 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 can't talk straight here. Huh? Okay. Try to talk too fast. Our troops have left uh, uh, France. Mm -hmm. What happened to the dog? Brought him to Buffalo. Brought him to Buffalo. What, what was the dog's name? Belgium. Belgium. Well, that's simple <laughs> enough. <Yeah. laughs> And uh, so you kept the dog with you in Buffalo. Yeah. So what happens? You know, at that time the train would come into Buffalo with with a pull in, mm -hmm. pull up about the where A and P warehouse is mm -hmm. down there. And I was living down there on Broadway, and so I I told them to let me off at that spot. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't far from me to walk about a half a mile, mm -hmm. I guess. But the, all that box and my duffel bag, oh, I had a, oh, it, was, it was real Belgium spit of hmm. a thoroughbred. So I kept it for a while. Mm -hmm. I gave it away. So I, I was just home before Thanksgiving. So what did I couldn't tell you. Hmm. So you finally gave, you eventually gave the dog away? I gave the dog away. Oh. What was it, uh, did it feel good to be home? Oh, yeah. What did you do? Uh, Just take it in easy. You took while. it easy for a while. And then I went back to work. Okay. You, know, work, you worked ever since? Ever since. Until, uh, you know, during the Depression time. Mm hmm Oh, Bethel Steel laid off lots of people at that time, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was laid off for a while at Bethel before we went to war. Mm -hmm. And uh, in who were days, they say everybody had a car to go around. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have an automobile. Everybody was selling paper. They gave it they, they could to sell for the junk. Hmm. That was before that was before the war. Now who did you work for when you got back? Bethlehem Steel. Bethlehem Steel. Oh, I worked here. You retired out of Bethlehem Steel? Uh, yeah. Okay. How many years about it? I mean how many years I've been retired. <laughs> I've been retired a long time. Now, is there any other stories you would like to tell us? Can you think of anything? Well, the thing I can remember is when I, uh, when I uh, left Boston, as I said, mm -hmm. 
which I can't afford to sit down. I went back to work. That was before, you know, I went down. So what do you, you, you thought your Army experience was a good experience? I wouldn't take it, wouldn't take it a word for it. Uh-huh. Because I never want to see what I see, you see. Right. I see where they uh, make wine over there in France. Mm-hmm. The Medulla. You see, we went down to Medulla where they, I had a chance to go on my off days to visit places. Uh-huh. Right? Visit the city and stuff, you know. Well, we had, we were strict at uh, certain areas we couldn't go too far. Right? right. Just like in Paris, I went to Paris, but you were restricted to the places that you could go in mm-hmm. Paris. Yeah. What, did you like Paris? Oh, yeah, it was nice. Do a little dancing in Paris? No. Nope. No dancing? No dancing. <laughs> it just, we just visited. Okay. Well, um, we'd like to thank you very much. You did a wonderful job. Well, uh, uh, Southampton, that's, uh, I tell you, we left, we left Northampton for mm-hmm. going to Omaha Beach. Mm-hmm. As I said, our troop, was the black troop that went to Omaha, Omaha Beach. Okay. It's, uh, that way. I had a little experience like that. Mm-hmm. Well, and uh, I see, I see the places where uh, they just just run down the houses after 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 our after the day trips. Right. What'd you think of the all the bombed out houses? Oh, well, we, we couldn't see them, but the ground. Mm-hmm. Burn, burn out all that building. Well, why don't I tell you this story? We was, uh, let's see what, uh, not far from, uh, not far from, uh, Lee, I think it was, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the German was sending the, I wish I had a picture of what I was, they called it Bloodsburg. Right. And they fill it up with the uh, gas. Mm-hmm. And they said it over in England at the time. That was before the, uh, you know, that was before the invasion. Mm-hmm. And I seen a, a pilot come up behind it and tip the wing, get under the wing, tip it over before it got into the city. Hmm. Tip it in the thaw, you know, before it got into uh, uh, Britain. Mm-hmm. Pretty brave pilot. Oh yes, he was. That was a, so that that's, that that hit the hit was, was exploded before he got into the city. And then again, they had those uh, zeppelins uh, 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 hanging up on why the barrage balloon? Uh, yeah, like a, a zeppelin, like a right, you know, big right. zeppelin. Well, that's what they had up there to keep the air, keep those uh our plans were coming in, mm-hmm. but the, so that's that's why they had to. See, if they come too low, strafing they call it. Uh, mm-hmm. They would hit one of those uh, zeppelins, and uh, then they. That's why they they would get in trouble. Mm-hmm. But that way, so I've seen some of that. So you had a pretty good time in England. Oh yeah. Did you Old do some Bart- dancing there? Not as much as we did in, uh, uh, in Belgium. Okay, Belgium was a place. Yeah, Belgium was a place. We could we could, we could go into cities and you know go to shows, mm-hmm. and booths. Well, John, we'd like to thank you very much. Did a good job. Yeah, so I, I had a good time. Well, good. We had a good time here. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed my. Uh, we enjoyed looking at your uh, your pictures. Yeah. Actually, uh, do you want me to hold one up? Yeah, if you hold one up, I'll get it on tape. If you show me that, uh, give me that uh, big picture. All right, I'm going to just hold the picture. You want to hold the picture up then? Oh, and I'm going to hold it. Yeah, I'll let you. You hold it. Wait a minute.
Which one is this? This is the one, uh, let's see, it's got some medals in it. It's got oh, a picture no. of you right in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold that, yeah. Is, hold that, hold that up straight. I'm trying to find the top of it. All right, all right. this is the top. Oh, yeah. Put it down yes. yeah. Now, okay. there's, there's a patch here that says on the top TC, there's a red circle, then it's MTS. What is that? That's one of the patches that they had that they, they give you for a grade. Okay. And you see this little child up there? That's yes. Well, that's that's the way they, they taking these pictures. That's the way they left some of them. Oh dear. And they taking the pictures of that. Yeah, bunny. Oh, you see the bunny? Okay. All right, do you want to explain a couple more of those pictures? All right, we've got, um, let's see, there's a picture of John. Now there's a, um, there's a sign here that says, Welcome Liege. Yeah, that, 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 that's a who is this going into Liege. Okay. Where is that, Mike? That's right here. Can you see? Can you yeah, see? yeah, you get that. Okay. And, and over here it says, Battle of the Bulge. Bulge. Do you remember where that was taken? Yeah, that is at least. Okay. That's where the big fight was. At okay. Least. And up here is, is uh, the answer in Germany that do not threaten the night, they say. Okay. Well, you got a medal in front of it. Yeah, I got a medal. That's the rifle. Okay, you got and a lot of medals. Yeah, I was a pretty good size fella. Uh-huh. Okay, Wayne. Okay. All right, we're going to put this back. Let's see what else we have. We got the, uh, those two empty shells there. Okay, where did you get those? Here's one. I of them. just picked them up on the battlefield. Just yeah, picked it up on the battlefield. Well, yeah, you're. There's, there's two of them. Well, we and got the one there. And here's a small one here. Mm -hmm. This is a small one. Okay. And I don't have one. Uh, you brought this home with you? Yeah. Along with the, the dog? This, oh, no, this, this was for. This, this comes out of the United States. Oh, okay. Or the trading field. Oh, I got you. So I just okay, let's see what else we have. Um, here's your certificate of appreciation from the Defense Department. Yeah, that was up in the, the Pentagon. The Pentagon. When did you go for that? Uh, June. Well, you get my cat right to it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, let me see my cat. Well, Mar right here. It's, it's right there. Is this oh, a Desert Storm oh. cap? No, not that one. Is that it? I don't like no, the blue one, the blue one. Oh, the blue one? It's, it's in my room with my drink. I got that. Can you get it there? I just have to get it. It's a drizzle. Marge, you just sit up your knees. Are I, I knees. got there what I got. Okay. Yeah. I'll put that to Michael. Mike. I got some, uh, some of my utensils. Hey, oh. you were showing me, why don't we hold that up, too? This Mike, is he wants to see the, uh, Okay, there's a, uh, the here's a uh, thing from the New Republic, it says Negro Service Troops. Yeah. Now, what was that? That was a, for appreciation of the uh, Negro Service okay. Troops. Okay. You see that, uh, that, uh, bridge, uh, oh, the Ride River Bridge. Okay. You see how it was formed up? Well, the. Uh, Normandy. Is this your D-Day cap? Yes. What is that? that? That's a blue one? Yes. Yeah. That's the 40th anniversary. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. That's the four. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah hold, hold that up. Okay, yeah. who gave you this? Oh, uh, people from the, some of the friends of the Pentagon. Okay. They, Very nice. They had this made for me. It's a nice hat. <laughs> Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, I said, I got some, uh, I'm not going to never use it. I got some, uh, all the cap, cap that I got my utils are going to have to eat with. Oh, really? But I give them to you, I'm not going to use it. Well, that's up to you, sir. If you, we'd, like for the we'd like to have them in the collection. What? Where's that down? Downstairs. We'll have to, we'll have to send that to you. All right, we have, yeah. we'll, we'll do that. Uh, 
Beth said they'll they'll send it to us when you, after you find it. Well, I know where it is. Oh, well, you gotta go. Good night. Get it. Well, put that up. Send it to you. Put it. Well, don't take it now. You gotta gotta be good. What is it going to be? Uh, by, uh, just an yeah, eight out of Mess kit? Mess kit. And, and by, uh, and by uh, one of my hats, a hard hat to have. But that one issued with me. You could buy that one. Okay. You can have it there. Uh, well, well, we'll have you send. We'll send it to you. Uh -huh. Just, what we'll do, John, is we'll go through all that stuff because there's probably a whole lot of stuff down there. And you can, and you can set it all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This will give you a day to uh, reminisce and go through things. I know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, John. But, uh, but I got, I, as I said, I got a lot of pictures of I even got my duffer made. Really? That's great. <laughs> I saved it all. You still, did you save your uniform? Yeah, I, I used that up for Oh. All I got is my Eisenhower jacket. Uh huh. It still fit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't go with that much. <laughs> How many people can say that? Huh? Not many people can say that. No. No, no, no. And what I did, I did from a, from a plate to eat out of Uh huh. The tin plate. Mm -hmm. I call it tin plate. Right. I gave it to the little guy that was going to camp, and I gave it to him so he could use it. With the fork and dice, mm -hmm. and so I gave it to him, and let him have it. Uh huh. Did you see it in the hallway? Yeah, what I got from the synagogue? We got, we got it here. We have it here, John. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, they've done a wonderful job bringing everything here. Oh, good. <laughs> good staff work. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, John. We appreciate uh, you talking with us. Well, you're welcome. Uh, if I can. Oh yeah, everything. You hold that, you hold that money, German money. Well, that's that's okay. We'll let you hold on to that. Well, I tell you that that was my first piece of American issued money that that top at the left. Oh really? Yeah, that was one of my first pieces. Mm hmm So I just. Well, we've got a release. Um, is John, can John sign that? Yeah, so, I'll let you read it. And yeah, this, 